This is Chris Danielson. I am totally blind. I have been blind since birth. When I was born, my dad was in the army, um, but we eventually settled in South Carolina, which is where both of my parents are from, although they're from different parts of the state. And um, that was where I did my growing up from the age of 13, pretty much onward. Um, and you know, I had um, a childhood where I was the only blind kid in my public school a lot of the time. And in South Carolina, when we moved there, we were living in a very small town. And I was one of only two blind people in the whole town. And the other one had already graduated from high school. And um, we were kind of friends, but, uh, you know, he was older than me, so we didn't have a lot uh, in common. And so for most of my life, I hadn't known that many blind people. Um, and so South Carolina, a few years later, was where I found the National Federation of the Blind because uh, I uh, decided to go. Uh, a friend of mine invited me. I was at a summer program of the South Carolina Commission for the Blind, and a friend of mine said, well, you should stay in Columbia, which is the capital city of South Carolina, over the weekend. Uh, because we're having a convention and it's a good time. And I was a kid, I was 18 years old, but I went and I did have a good time. And I also met uh, Dr. Mark Maurer and Dr. Kenneth Jernigan and they made a big impression on me. And so I started getting involved with the Federation, but I didn't really, really, really get what it was all about until I won I became a finalist for a national scholarship, and I went to a national convention two years later in 1991 in New Orleans. And that was where I met a whole bunch of other blind people and learned that whereas I had thought that I was this amazing blind person who could do all this stuff, that a lot of blind people were even more successful and more independent than I was. And so that was when I decided that this movement had something to offer me and that I better get more involved and that I better go to the to one of our training centers, which I ultimately did, the Louisiana Center for the Blind. And I've been a staunch federationist ever since. And uh, I guess I did some useful things in my volunteer capacity because we finally gave me a job. So there you go.